you because you might, they are ones you like. All right, I think we're gonna start sweet potatoes today. So two years ago, I started them too early, I think. I planted them out too early. Some of them died, but the ones that survived ended up making these like massive sweet potatoes, those big as my head. My children are completely unimpressed with my crazy humongous sweet potatoes. And then last year I put them in this new section that we added and I put them out a bit late and then it frosted early so they were way smaller. So this year, I, I have no idea. We're probably late. That's okay. It's okay. We'll get something. We'll get some sort of sweet potatoes. And you know, even if we don't get sweet potatoes, you can always eat the sweet potato vines, the leaves. So, so the first thing we need to do is find our specialized sweet potato growing containers. Now that we have our super specialized and very expensive container. Now we will go get the organic, super specialized dirt in which to grow them. Now we need our special order sweet potatoes, highly expensive, super organic, non-GMO, blah, 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 blah. Let's go get them. Don't, don't look, don't look at the basement. Just walk, I'll tell you if you're gonna fall. All right, whoa, we got some regular potatoes that look like they wanna grow, but we're going for the sweet potatoes. So like the first year I grew them, I just literally went to the store, like Walmart and bought some. They'll grow, you do not need, these are ones I grew last year. Look how small they are compared to the bigger than my head ones. All right, we've got ourselves some random sweet potatoes. All right, don't look at the mess. Just look, don't look at the mess. I'm not gonna let you fall, no, don't fall. I'm gonna clean the basement one day. I am. Today is not that day. Okay, so the first time I did this, I didn't know like what was the top and what was the bottom, so I just kind of plopped them in on their side. And now that I've been doing this for a few years, I still have no idea what's the top and the bottom, and we're still just gonna put them in on their side. One kind of looks like a mouse. Ta da! We've started our sweet potatoes. So those will grow some slips out the front and then we'll twist them off and we'll be good to go. I'm feeling very accomplished as I'm sure you are too. Do you see how easy that was? <laughs> it's so easy. I feel like this is something that just happens with all gardening. It's easy when you actually do it, put the thing in the dirt, give it water and you're done. So I'm like, why did it take? It took me forever just to do that. I could have done that months ago. Why did I not? I make these things so big in my head and so complicated and it's not just gardening. It's like literally every task. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be all this and that. And it's like, when you actually just do it, it's not that bad. So I appreciate you coming over because that way I actually got it done. I'm sure you have stuff in your life that's like that as well, where it's like, you know, we make such a big deal out of it and it becomes this big thing in our heads and just fills up our whole brain. And when really in real life, it took like what, five minutes, not even, it is done. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. And that's another great thing about gardening is you do the upfront work and yeah, you have to like do other things like weeding and I'm not gonna downplay the amount of work it is for gardening, but if you just get the things in the ground, mother nature kind of takes over. Like I planted my garlic and then that's it. Now I don't have to do anything with garlic at all until it comes up and it's time to harvest. I don't have to make it rain. I don't have to do the sun. Those things just happen. I just did the initial work, but it's always just doing that initial work. That's always the sticking point. It's just uh, getting up and doing it. I know you know what I mean. It is very nice outside today. It is way cooler than yesterday. We got a rainstorm and brought the temperatures down, but it's still not cold. It's nice. So this feels very spring-like. It'd be great if this continues. I guess we'll find out if it will. I don't really know, but thank goodness we got our sweet potato started. What else have you been starting? Yeah, I have a lot of stuff I need to start. I don't even have seeds for a lot of things I need to start. I need to get in garden mode. Garden mode. That's pretty much all I've done is this portion right here. Look at all what needs to be done. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's not, it's not bad at all. It's fine. The good thing is you don't have to do everything in one day. 
So if we just do like one thing a day, if I can just remember that one thing a day, we will get there. And this will be, it won't be Pinterest perfect, but it will be functional and it will give us food. So awesome. Enjoy your coffee and like we'll do another thing tomorrow. Just easy, one thing, it'll be great.